In this video, we will go through a living room realistic rendering, starting from modeling from scratch in SketchUp and creating the realistic rendering in D5. This is what we will be creating next. Let me just draw a rectangle first here. Let me just do this. Push pull this upwards for about 320 centimeters. I think that should be good. A fireplace. It seems to be something along these lines. Let's do 20 centimeters. Last seems a bit too wide now. Uh, but anyway, um, 25. Yeah, 25 centimeters. Let's continue on this line, on this line. And then let's do something like this. Should be good. Let's just model this real quick. Over here, almost fully in the back. Needs to go up to here as well. This over here is where this wall ends. This should be, yeah, something like this. Yeah, let's just get this one. And then let's just increase this right here. Push pull all the way over here. Uh, let me just go here and import some of the models that we had. Uh, let me rotate it to something like this. Pretty close, something like this. Um, is it touching the ground? No. Uh, let's just do this real quick. All right, uh, let's check the rug. Yeah, I think the rug is pretty big. So if I rotate it, it should come about, yeah, probably over there. Uh, this texture is definitely gonna need to change right here. Let's move it on this side. Let's make this touch the ground. The sofa actually needs to be extended. The actual table, something like this. Let's push pull this upwards for about uh, 30 centimeters. Is that too high? Yes. Uh, let's go down for 10 and then I can offset this for about another 10 and I can push pull this up for about 10 as well. Something like this and this definitely works fine for me. A bit more downwards. Let me delete this, delete this, delete this and delete this as well. Okay, uh, let me just draw this in like so. Um, and then let's go five centimeters. Let's offset this in for three centimeters. Let's push this inside for 1.5 centimeter. And let me group this. And then to apply, it is a material right here. I can right click. Wait, I can right click and texture, position, increase its size, actually position it right here, increase it in size to something like this. Let me offset and then let's do another offset. For about, yeah, something like that. Rectangle tool over there. Uh, move this upwards, basically a copy of it. I can go inside once again, rectangle, push pull, upwards. Okay, colors, let's go downwards and let's choose this. Well, not the whole thing. Um, this one, all right. Let's draw the glass. Let's push pull this upwards. And then I can just do the same thing on all of the sides here. So we have just a little bit more of modeling and adding of accessories to do before we actually do the color coding, which uh, helps us to get everything ready for, um, which helps us to get everything ready for, uh, what's it called, uh, D5. Uh, let me just apply this here. Uh, let's go to stone, just black stone here. All right, and use this material here and select this for instance um well actually yeah let's just select this and then uh we should go to wood and let's just choose a darker wood for this part darker and let me apply it to our table you can just do this i can push pull this upwards for uh whatever let's do 50 i guess uh, i can group this and i can go inside here and then what we need is Actually, what we need here is to offset this inwards for something like this. 
for the actual ceiling and let's just push pull i mean let's just push this for like 10 centimeters and let's do the same here double click so let's just add a scene edit the scene go inside the scene size 1080 by 1080 projection mode two point perspective wait 1080 by 1080 please thank you uh let's go closer let's decrease the field of view maybe go a bit more to the right i think yeah i think this is what we need here first things first let me select this glass this needs to be white nice i think let's start from the ground up i'll actually just go to assets open assets and let's go to material i'll type in wood okay well this first of all should be at a 90 degree angle second of all this should be at 0 0.8 and let me just import an hri let's go to let's go to a custom hri and let me just get our yeah wasteland cloud pure sky this would work fine no not really it, it's a bit too bluish let's do the mid hri how will this look like okay it looks a bit more regular and then let's go to effects let's turn off auto exposure completely skylight 0 0.2 background 0 0.2 uh rotate i guess that's yeah um let's go to plane we need the white plane here and i will put it right underneath size 16,000 by 16,000. let's take this off effect exposure something like this okay i'll go at the rectangular lighting let's get this let's rotate it by 90 degrees or let's do 180 uh well actually minus 90. let me go to marble material let's put in uh marble this one could work um should we increase it in size or something what is the issue here this works yep i think that works just fine okay let's try this um i'm not sure which one i should even try brown flannel uh i think this beige linen um well this i need Uh, I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with a uh, with a fabric here. Cool. Um, so that looks good. Zero point zero fifteen. Uh, let me go to the wall paint. Green wall paint. Let me try this one. How will this look like? What? Uh, oh, okay, not too bad. Uh, I can just do uh, UV randomizer and then I can increase it in size and then I can go over here. Keep it somewhere around there. Let's copy this. Let's put this at the ceiling as well because that's what we have here. Um, I think the camera is a bit too high though. So let me just go a bit more downwards. Let me get a bit closer. So now what I can do is I'll just, well, let me just give this one final, uh, one final edit. Duplicate this and put it at the top there. Uh, what happened here now? Well, this is weird. Offset and then rotate it by 180 and then let's let's just try and switch this sofa for something else let me go here and type in l-shaped sofa we can find a good one what about this somewhere here assets let me go um fabric once again light brown linen how would this look um can i just what if i just go here and make it a cloth material 
and then I just make this darker. Wow. So making a cloth material really made it better. Yeah, something like this can look good. Put this here on the side and let's increase it. We actually need to add some, uh, yeah, we actually need to add some uh, lighting here at the top. Uh, the sunlight intensity 0 0.05, uh, wait, 0 0.05, yes. And then, oh, got it, cool. Here. Oh yeah, let me add the rectangular lighting over here. So let's go rectangular lighting. That's still too much, let's do 15. Is it still too much? Yeah, let's do eight. I think that works better. Okay, now I just need stronger lighting from this year. So how am I gonna do that? I think I'm gonna go to the rectangle light. Well, not that one, this one. I just need sharper shadows from this. Like, yeah, something like this. And then less intensity. Um, let's decrease the exposure a bit. Let's go to skylight. I think I want a bit sharper shadows. I want more contrast in the shadows. Uh, maybe I can do that through here as well. Well, not really. Yeah. Um, how can I? How can I do this? Let me just think this through with lighting. So we have the skylight here, right? Um, well, well, maybe I can just let's try and switch the HRI. I'm gonna switch the HRI. I'm gonna try something which is uh, harsher. So like a sunset day dry, this probably has more contrast in it. Mm, let's try this one. I think this one will work. Yes, nice. Yeah, so this one has a strong sun and we can do something like this and we can rotate it. It's too much. Yeah, it's just way too much. Um, let me try something else. Let me just try a few ones. Let me try this one. Okay. Nope. Let's try this one. Actually, what if I just use the AI atmospheric match? Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that. I can use this. Okay, not bad. Now, I mean, well, let's try and see what will happen out of this. Enhance. Uh, I think that's good. And then material ID. And the material ID one in the back. This doesn't look bad. This looks all right, honestly. It actually looks pretty good, I would say. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see what <laughs> let's see what AI has done. Render to AI. Render to AI, and let's just put this in Photoshop. And then, uh, hmm. The ceiling definitely not it, uh, but I think the rest looks. Oh, wait, not screen, light it. Okay, let me edit once again. Um, then this should be lightened. Cool. The ceiling looks weird. The walls look better. Everything looks better. Now, I'm not sure if... Uh, okay. Let me select the ceiling first of all. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to select. Color range, let me select this and then let me go here. Uh, Restorize and delete that. That's one thing for sure. The ceiling looks better and without the AI. And then as far as this goes, I'm gonna test it out because I'm not sure about the sofa. 
think it's a little bit better with AI. Let's see. So if I go here and I go to uh, select color range, let's select the sofa. And let me take this off. So if I take this off, definitely looks better with AI. Okay. This doesn't look bad, right? I love your content. Hope you don't remove this live from your channel. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to remove the live from the channel. Hey, this looks good. What do you guys think? This actually, I'm quite happy with this. So let's export this. I think it was worth the time that we spent here. Uh, final render. Not bad. It's definitely better than the reference image. I love it. Maybe the material on this sofa is better than this one, but I love it.